Photogrid is one of the most interesting shortcuts that I've found in the Shortcuts Gallery within the Shortcuts app in iOS. I've added it here to my Shortcuts library, and I'm going to use it to make a photo grid from a set of images that I took using burst mode on my iPhone. Recently at a Mariners game in Seattle, I was lucky enough to walk up to the standing area that overlooks the visitor's bullpen. Below, Cubs pitcher Cole Hamels was doing his pregame warm-up. I was situated just about directly above the pitching mound. I just needed to hold my iPhone out at arm's length and aim through one of the squares in the netting to get the view that you see in these shots. To shoot the burst, I just held down the shutter button on the iPhone as he threw the pitch. As we cycle through these images here in photos, it plays much like an animation. I also think this set of images will work great in a grid. So I could take the time to build that on my own in Pixelmator or another image editing app, or I could get it done just about instantly using the Photo Grid shortcut. So let's head into the Shortcuts app and tap Photo Grid. I then need to select the images that I want to add into the grid. I'm going to choose all 19 of these, and then tap Done. The shortcut then gets to work and builds the grid image. I'm presented with a 5x4 grid that displays all 19 shots. If I had gotten 20, we wouldn't be left with one blank square though. What I did with this was add the Cubs logo to this square after saving the image, which we would need to do from the share button up here. Tap save image and it's added to the photos library on this iPhone. Tap done and we can redo the photo grid shortcut but this time skip these first three images in the burst and we'll end up with a 4x4 four four grid. The only thing that I wish was a little different about this shortcut was the resolution of the grid image that is output. This image is 1000 by 1000 pixels at 72 dpi. It will look okay on small displays but it's going to get fuzzy when expanded on a large display or if it gets printed. Luckily, we can control every step in the photo grid shortcut. Tap the ellipsis in the corner of the shortcut button to see the entire list of actions and variables that are included in the shortcut. As you can see, this is a long and complex shortcut. I'm not going to pretend that I could successfully build this entire shortcut from scratch. But one of the first actions in the list is a number, which is currently set to 1000. This refers to the width and pixels of the image that gets output. I'm going to increase this to 6000, which will give us a nice high resolution image. Now let's create that same 4x4 grid, and then compare it on the large screen of the Mac. So here we have the original image that's a thousand pixels wide. And then over in this tab, the new image that's 6,000 pixels across. You can easily see how much more crisp the second image is. So it's going to look great on large high res displays like this or as a print. So that's a look at how to use the PhotoGrid shortcut in the Shortcuts app for iOS. It works great with burst photos taken from an iPhone, but it can also be used with any series or group of images that you'd like to quickly compile into a single grid. Learn much more about using your iPhone, iPad, and Mac at themacu.com. Thanks for watching.